papaya or chia seeds, however you pronounce them, a specific cherry de stoner. The squelchy sound I find so satisfying. It looks so funny on camera. Wow, nearly, nearly had an accident there. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you are a returning subscriber then thank you so much for coming back. If you're not yet subscribed then be sure to head over, click on that little red subscribe button down below as it would mean so much to me if you could do that. Today I thought I would do a little what I eat in a day video, I haven't done one for a couple of weeks two, three weeks now. Also, if you do enjoy my what I eat in a day videos, then just in case you haven't heard, not that I've not mentioned it enough yet, but um, <laughs> I did release an ebook earlier this month full of plant-based recipes as well as nutritional advice and guidance, which literally anyone can apply to their diet pretty much. And it's a book particularly aimed at people who either want to start a plant-based diet or are kind of new to it, and they don't really know too much about it. But then again, if you are vegan or plant-based already, then there's tons of recipes in there as well. So anyone could really get something out of it. So the link is always down in my description. So if you haven't yet got yourself a copy, definitely head over there now, go buy one. And it means so much to me if you could do that as I put in a lot of time and effort into that book. But anyway, on with today's video. For breakfast this morning, I have got some Alpro Natural Coconut Yogurt. And then I have got some of this granola. This is my homemade granola. This recipe is actually in my ebook. So if you want the full deep you know head over get yourself a copy but uh this is well it's actually the cinnamon raisin and pecan one i've actually just got the cinnamon granola because when i made it i don't think we had any pecans or i can't remember i don't think we had any pecans left but anyway the actual main granola is the same recipe as in my ebook back to my most favorite sort of unattractive angle but if you know me then you'll know the toppings is where it's at the granola and the yogurt is just the start so we have got some blueberries we have got cherries which are absolutely amazing right now they're also the really dark ones which i love let me know if you're like a sweet cherry fan and like the really dark ones or if you prefer them like bright red and sour i've also then got a little banana some goji berries there's a motorbike outside um some chaya or chia seeds however you pronounce them and last but definitely not least we have got some meridian rich roast crunchy peanut butter so literally this is more like all the toppings with a side of granola and yogurt pretty much. Only thing I'm not a fan of with cherries is that you have to de-stone them and it's always such a long process. There surely must be by now some little machine, I bet there is, like a little kitchen gadget that will help you de-stone things. I mean you can get kitchen gadgets for literally everything now. I reckon there's probably even like a specific cherry de-stoner. I also always then end up looking like I've just murdered someone. At least for now, even though our water comes on and off, it's still on at the moment so I can wash this off my hands. Can't believe I nearly forgot to chuck on some cacao nibs. Like, what do I think I'm doing? It's definitely not complete without some of these. You can't go wrong with a little bit of chocolate in the morning. And there we go, that is my breakfast bowl complete. It looks kind of like a dessert, but you know, I love having dessert-like breakfast first thing in the morning. Oh, also, almost forgot to mention, I have got my usual Tetley decaf green tea. I'm just about to have a little snack. Oh wow, there's people talking <laughs> outside loudly. I will just close that a sec. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have one of these deliciously Ella baked oat bars. I love her oat bars, and this is her most recent flavour. It's the peanut butter flavour. Wow, those people are really loud. I can still hear them. Um, I think I mentioned this in my most recent favourites video, actually. They are super tasty. If you're a peanut butter lover and love a flapjack, highly recommend. I'm just cooking myself up some lunch. I'm just gonna make my, like, vegan mac and cheese kind of recipe, which is in my ebook, but... I know Bella's got a little dog down here as well. Um, the sauce is made from like mainly butternut squash, cashew nuts, that kind of thing. For all the exact ingredients and quantities, definitely check out my ebook below. But I have just got the squash and cashew nuts boiling up over there to soften them all before blending those into the sauce. In here I've got a whole mixture of veggies that I'm just cooking up. And then I'll also add in some pasta in a bit as well. This is always the best bit, is getting to stir through the sauce at the end. And just, I don't know, the sound it makes as well, like the squelchy sound, I find so satisfying. Just currently sat doing some editing and I just went and grabbed literally like a few Medjool dates. They look so funny on camera. Um, just to have as a little editing snack right now to keep me going until dinner. Just cooked up myself, well, essentially a roast, although we don't have any gravy left. So, sadly gonna have to have it without, which means it's a little bit dry, but... 
I'm sure it will taste good all the same. I have just literally been sat at the computer all day as well, so I've come outside because it's nice to get some fresh air. But I've basically got some carrots. They've got a little bit burnt around the edges, but actually, to be fair, they're nice and like crispy like that, so that's fine. And then some broccoli, some roast potatoes, and this is my like lentil nut roast, which is from my ebook. I winged this recipe at the time and it turned out so well. It tastes like so good. I'm so happy with that one. So highly recommend you check out that recipe in the ebook. I am now all ready for bed. I'm just about to watch Love Island now. It's about to start. So of course that calls for some kind of chocolate. I had a bit of this one yesterday, the coconut and raspberry seed and bean chocolate. I haven't had, oh sorry, <laughs> didn't even realize it's filming like that. I haven't had any of the seed and bean chocolate for a while. I think I have mentioned it in a famous video before because I had it ages ago and then just haven't had it since. I'm also just gonna get another cup of green tea as well as per usual. Wow, nearly, nearly had an accident there and <laughs> overfilled the cup. But oh well, didn't do that. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. It's like everything I'll be having. Smash a big thumbs up on it if you have enjoyed it as well as being sure to click on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. Like I said as well, if you wanna see more recipes and also details of recipes I shared in this video, be sure to check out my ebook. It's linked down below in the description. Sorry, this is the most unflattering lighting. <laughs> also be sure to tap on that notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. And I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video.